let me turn you down just a bit. Now we're showing up. That's actually a fact. It's not a Dwarven Dynamite thing unless there's a tech issue. All right, I think I'm good to go. Ready, yes, sir? Yeah. All righty. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dwarven Dynamite. I am a bit of a speedrunner, and I'm here to bring you an amazing game that was shown to me by our good friend here, Estacaco. It is known as Growl. It was originally an arcade game, but got ported to the Sega Genesis. Which weirdly they decided, you know, this arcade game with two players, let's make it one player. Cause, you know, who has friends in this day and age, right? It's only couch co-op games. But yeah, I have fallen in love with this game and I'm glad for the opportunity to be able to show this off to you all. Uh, gonna be doing a simple speed run for this. I'm not gonna go like crazy or anything. I'm just gonna hope that things don't go disastrously wrong and ruin the run entirely. But you know, we'll see what happens. This is one of the uh, uh, beat em up that does have a fair bit of RNG to it. Uh, there are a lot of predictable things, but then there are also a lot of things that happen however it feels like it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we just gotta let life take the wheel. All right, normal, got three credits. We are good to go. Let me get back to this. So there are four characters to actually pick through this, and as you can see, they all have their own you know, stats. But we're going with Jin today, or Gin. Not sure exactly how you say that. But yeah. So, for anyone who's curious, the plot of this game basically is we work on a nature preserve and we protect a lot of rare animals that have been hunted or just need to be protected from poachers in general. For some reason, this evil organization decides they want to get all the animals and take them from us, so we have to stop them by beating them up because violence solves all the world's problems. That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> So let's get this started. And as all good beat em ups do, it starts you off in a bar. <laughs> not to mention, does not let you actually read the story fully, <laughs> as you can tell. And of course, you know, let's just blow it up. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is come over here, pick this up, blow those guys up, and then blow these two dudes up, and we're on to the next green. Uh, throughout the, uh, the game, uh, you'll see him pick up projectile weapons very, very rarely, only when absolutely crucial and the drops say so. Uh, uh, projectile weapons are, because they are ammunition based, are typically found to be very, very limited use. So we come across our first perk poacher, who's tormenting this poor lion, so we're gonna shoot him, come down here, shoot this explosive barrel, and pray that all these enemies actually walk to the explosion. And they did, perfect. Gonna break up this barrel, get this sword, and we're gonna move on to the next ring. And now we're going to just begin the process of this game of just me beating people up. <laughs> now, these guys with knives are very dangerous, because if I get into their line of sight directly, they will toss the knife at me and it's almost impossible to avoid if it happens. Uh, one unique feature this uh, beat has with its weapon system is you do carry over weapons that you uh, have from one level to another. Um, there is one level in particular where it does not allow you to do that, but uh, in a good speedrun or an optimal speedrun, you are going to aim to carry this sword for the entire game. Uh, because the sword is overpowered, and when uh, <laughs> the character is in that crouching stab, he has iframes, so he can't actually be hit when he's doing the crouch stab. It's really nice. Why can't more games like this have it? Uh, and as far as we've seen, that's the only time you really get iframes, besides when you throw an explosive or die. You want to say about the dude with the knife? Yeah. He's the bane of my existence in this, and I can't stand him. So this bunch of dudes about to come out of this train. I need to hit them perfectly so I can hit this dude with a knife that comes out. But he doesn't do that. I need to get to the other side quickly because the same thing's going to happen. And some random dude bopped me. It's fine, though. I still got me. 
I didn't get hit with a knife, and that's the most important thing. Because if I did and I stood up, I was going to basically get juggled. Oh, I missed it. If you are close enough, there's a slight range for her where you can still hit her, and she doesn't do the jump attack. But I missed it. I messed it up. It's all okay, though. On to the next screen. On to our next evil poacher attacking this poor eagle. So we're going to show him some business. Teach you to harm animals. Please jump past me. Thank you. It's getting dangerous. And see, this is the problem with the ladies of this. Not only are they rocking dangerous heels and miniskirts, but they also have grenades. Where are they hiding those grenades? I don't know. So, randomly there are set barrels that also have apples in them, which give me health, and I'm going to need them, because I'm going to take at least one intentional death, no matter what, in a run, because there's no way to avoid it. As far as I found. Now, we're coming to our first boss, Bomberman. Also, I just realized I forgot to start my timer, so that's now pointless. <laughs> And the eagle hit me. <laughs> so the eagle is our friend, but it's also our enemy at the same time. Do not ask me why the eagle can hit you. I really don't know. It's something that's bothered me. He's going to go into the stance now. He's going to start exploding and charging at me. So I'm going to be doing this. Just going to keep throwing that. Pick up the sword so it doesn't vanish because it will actually vanish if it's on the ground for too long. And we're just going to keep doing it. We got him in the perfect cycle. And last hit here, and good to go. And that is our first boss bomber man. So now, basically this is an action movie. So we're going to do the very thing that has to be in every single action movie. We're gonna hop on top of a train. Now we're pretty much just waiting for enemies to show up because they're just gonna start climbing on top of this moving train. You're gonna get it, sucker. Except I'm not. <laughs> now, every time I do this, when I stand up, I have to take a small step forward in swing. Otherwise, I will lose my iframe and I will get hit by the enemy that's behind me. They always have grenades. Now, the eagles here are going to kill everybody, so I'm kind of just trying to mitigate how much damage I take. And I'm just waiting it out. Of course, they uh, still hit me. And there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Because eagles are my friend, but they're also my enemy at the same time. If I'm not mistaken, they're the only, uh, only frenemy in the game. <laughs> it's really silly. Now, we come to our first and only bonus stage of the entire game. Why is this in here? I don't know. But every single one of these mm -hmm. barrels is random of what drops out of them. So, If you happen to lose the sword, you have a chance of getting the sword back, thankfully. If it doesn't show up, then I usually want to restarting my run. <laughs> and now we go forward. And to the best music of the game. And thankfully, all four of these dudes just drop right in the line, so it's just quick mop up. <laughs> this area can get a little dodgy just because some of the enemies, they just don't want to cooperate in any way, shape, or form. So some of them, despite your iframes, will still find a way to hit you. Some of them like to wander. And then this section gets it to me because I have to do a lot of dodging to avoid getting hit. Otherwise, I will just get locked into an endless cycle. Jump attack, jump attack, jump attack. It's so painful. I'm trying just not to be too far forward because if you are all the way to the right, he has to walk backwards to this cutscene where big bucks for me. <laughs> We're going to teach these jerks a lesson for messing with this poor doe. Because we are here to save the animals at all times. All right, so here I have to wait for the enemies to show up. So we're going to dance. Gin's got moves. Now that we're here, we can get back to business. I'm going to get hit. Yep. The whip enemies are the worst. <laughs> They time their attacks perfectly. Sorry. The sword is overpowered, but the whip is another alternative if you lose your sword. Uh, the whip does have the advantage that it will hit uh, enemies on both sides of you. Um, so when he whips it forward, he hits, and then when he cracks it back, 
he does hit um, enemies if they're close enough behind you. So got it a, is a strat that is viable. As you saw there, Gain got a second opportunity to show off his amazing dance moves. <laughs> for some reason, there's just two sections where they force you to wait for enemies. I don't know why they did that. It's, it was kind of a weird choice, but we coming out here. I'm only going to hit this one dude here to make him drop the whip because I'm not going to deal with these enemies. The mighty gazelle are the friend to all dwarves. All right, now we're gonna come into this corner. We're just gonna stand in the corner. We're not doing illegal things, by the way. We're doing very righteous things on this corner. Trust me, I am the hero of this story. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna come up here. This is the worst part of this entire section for me because a lot of dudes come out with knives and I have to bait them to using them and they don't want to. And I get hit by one no matter what I do. <laughs> Every time. I don't think it's possible. This is what I meant by the juggling and now the wandering. The game, for some reason, when there are so many enemies on screen, it doesn't know what to do with the AI, so it just makes them wander up top. I don't know why they couldn't figure that out, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, when there's too many enemies, it actually just kind of gives you a chance. It just moves them away. That's kind of what it seems to be doing. So that you don't, like, they, like, when there's, like, ten enemies on the screen, you're not actually having to fight all ten of them. They kind of just hang out, like, see at the bottom left there. And it makes my speed running life horrible. Now I'm praying that something doesn't happen here. Okay. Every once in a while, for some reason, the game will spawn three enemies at the top right-hand corner, and it'll just bring them in, and it wastes so much time when it happens. All right, these are the Fez Bros. Third boss. Well, second one. Didn't get what I didn't get the cycle I wanted. Oh, that's abysmal. Basically, I'm trying to line them up so they can get it all in a spot where I can just keep kicking them. Not going the way I plan at the moment, but and after Whoa. this point, they start uh, showing up as somewhat of a casual enemy as well. Good old beat em ups. This is what I was trying to get. I will be right back. All right. And for some reason, they explode. I don't know why. It's not like they've shown them holding dynamite or anything. And we come to the second set of Fezbros. There's only three of them this time. I think I should have a cycle here. Again, that hit was actually pretty good. Yep, we got him. No matter what, I pretty much lose the sword because it. I can't. It's almost impossible keeping it for this section, and it's honestly not worth it. That is the Fez Bros. They are done. We are now going to board this boat. Because they are trying to take these poor elephants away, and we're going to stop that. The boat sucks, because <laughs> I lose my sword, and I pretty much am just trying to fend for myself at the moment. Which can get really difficult. Oh, they didn't all didn't kill us enough. I, I kind of hope that one of them throws a grenade so I can take out most of the enemies in one go because the grenades are friendly fire. And it's a lot of waiting around for the enemies at the point and waiting for knives to come up. Throw the knife, please. Throw the knife, please. They're not throwing the knives. I don't know why they're not throwing the knives. There we go. Now I can be free to kick people in the face. <laughs> Basically, if you don't have a weapon, just just jump kick. It's, a, it's the easiest thing you can do and it does a lot of damage surprisingly and is an easy way to deal with tons of enemies why is this dude being obnoxious <laughs> this one guy decided he wanted to be a hero and one more wave of enemies should be a lot of uh evil ladies with the mini shirts just because you're being evil does not mean that you can't handle yourself with fashion and that's what i was hoping for all right we come to our next boss boat bagwell charge me i'm just gonna leave him over here and i'm gonna try a new strat that hopefully works it did not <laughs> so i always screw it up we're gonna try it again basically he knocks on the ground if i do it at just the right time i can pay him a, i can lock him into an animation of just consistently getting dropped on the ground but i always mess it up so can i kick you please <laughs> that's what i was trying to do and that's boat bagwell Oh no, but please spare my life. Yeah, about that. Throws a pipe at you. And you just hit him and he explodes. <laughs> so I come up here because it makes this little scene go faster. Otherwise, he'd have to walk up there to break that. 
Still saves a lot of time. Oh, we come to the next section, which is one of my favorites because I barely have to do anything here. And you'll see in just a minute why. Here's our friend Ellie. She's gonna come in and she's just gonna run over everybody. And I'm just gonna let her. <laughs> Except for these dudes who don't want to come down for me. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I literally don't have to do anything for this entire section if I don't want to. I can just let Ellie handle everything. And she does it so well. <laughs> and she's going to follow us through this entire part right here. No, it's not too much. I see. I came back at the perfect time. We got Stampy on. <laughs> Just charging through everything in such good form. Except for these two who don't want to come down. There we go. Alright, and this is where we're going to lose Ellie, sadly. Because, yeah, they start shooting at us. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame the elephant for not wanting to be there. He's got an elephant! Fire the cannons! So There's going to be four shots. I have to stay in this right-hand corner to avoid getting hit by them. On this one, I need to move forward over here, and because it's going to be one that's right there that will hit me if I'm in that corner. And that's pretty much this section, because it's going to be one last shot here. And now you'll see what's been shooting at me the entire time. That slowly rolls its way in. It was a tank. <laughs> this is the end for you. Oh, no, he got me. Whatever will we do? Oh, wait, Ellie's mom. <laughs> All those poachers with tanks. <laughs> You have a tank. I have an elephant. <laughs> so pretty much, you're going to just beat this clown car of tank of a tank that just has an insane amount of people inside. <laughs> How did they fit that many people in a tank? I have no clue. <laughs> Don't you do it? Don't you do it? Oh, you did it. <laughs> I hate when they throw the grenades when I don't want them to. All right, so we are slowly approaching the worst section in the entire game. And when we get there, I'm going to lose so much energy because I was wondering why I couldn't pick up my, <laughs> my body. <laughs> yeah, there actually are finishing animations for the enemies. Uh, there's a the stomp, there's the double axe handle just beat down like you know they're in Dragon Ball Z and then my favorite where he just grabs them by the, the collar and just slams them back and forth on the ground like he's doing it you know the Hulk to Loki and I got hit by the whip <laughs> yeah this part's not you know really crazy it's pretty just easy just beat everybody up and don't get hit <laughs> as I get hit <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Isn't that how all beat em ups work? It's pretty much. <laughs> Just keep swinging and don't get hit. Don't do what I do, kids. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to actually grab a grenade here. There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, now, now is an opportune time to use a grenade. I know it, <laughs> it kills speed, but there's so many on the screen right now. There's so much item lo layover that it sometimes just doesn't let me and I hate it. All right, so this is the Cave of Horrors. No matter what I come into this cave with, I instantly lose it. It gets replaced by this torch. I cannot do my special attack that you've seen me doing the little spin attack I do. I can only do this, really. Yes, the entire game is now just jump kicks. <laughs> entire level. So if this was a if this is a stream with donations, this would be the perfect time for them. But sadly, it's not. So we're just going to fill it with random commentary about random things, like how terrible this torch actually is, because. Uh. My God! No, I don't know if you saw the video I sent on the arcade version of this, but you I... would much rather be playing this cave level than the arcade version of the cave level. <laughs> um, the arcade version of the cave level is a lava platformer. Let's see. It's, it's, that sounds it's awesome. Platforms <laughs> everywhere with lava underneath you and shooting fireballs and. See, instead of this idiocy, I could be playing the floor's lava. Are you serious? I'm playing the arcade yeah, version now. We're restarting the whole run. <laughs> with these wonderful 
controls the jumpings and how accurate they probably are. Also, in the arcade version, I could actually have somebody else playing with me. <laughs> that is true. The arcade version does have the capability for two players, unlike the... Uh, I just want to note that I've never seen them act like this. Those two will not come to me for some reason. I don't know why. I've never seen this. <laughs> this is so odd. Rules. That's it's because you're doing a marathon. <laughs> Something that never happens always happens in marathons. This is true. <laughs> I think it's the next one that all the enemies will come from the left side instead. Because <laughs> this is uh, it warning me as it sends enemies from the left side now with the enemies from the right. I think it's the next one that has all of them come to the left. <laughs> Would I rush at this guy? Uh, absolutely not. This guy is jacked. <laughs> this guy scares me. <laughs> also, I Bronco, mean, I his, hate this. <laughs> not only his fists, but also his feet. <laughs> this dude is literally his Indiana feet. Jones mixed with Chuck Norris. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Yeah, actually, if you think about it. And Can now we come to the last part of this. For some reason, the game decides, you know what? You haven't seen enough of the Fez, bro. So we're just going to throw one randomly at you with a whole bunch of the evil ladies in skirts. While you can't see. <laughs> Thankfully, RNG is on my side and I got a nice little cycle there. I was able to keep him in the corner. And we are finally out of the cave of fours. Thank you. <laughs> So no matter what I have to watch, you know, him walk slowly, but surely with uh, the buffest walk on the face of the planet. Shut up, phone. Landslide! Don't know why this one slab perfectly just slides down, but we have to get off of this now. So our good friend, the eagle, is going to actually be useful for once and not just murder me, but help me across. He thought about murdering me there. I know he did. So in uh, the arcade, there's a lot more involving the eagling as well where you actually like, control him and get carried around in places see that's dope <laughs> i gotta try the arcade version now actually at some point um it actually seems shorter than this though really to be honest yeah it seems it's it, it, i don't know i was just skimming through but it felt like it was a shorter game than this no you do it the wrong way i don't know why she threw it that direction there was no way that was gonna like, I've never seen her throw it like that. That would suck. My, my question is, how is our still a bridge there after that? You know, sometimes we just shouldn't ask questions. <laughs> okay, I'm coming to the part where I'm going to take the death that I had no choice to take because there's no help whatsoever until the end of this entire section. There's literally no way you can avoid taking a death because something's going to hit me and it's going to be one of these fast bros coming up because we're coming up to a boss gauntlet. Every boss we've seen up to this point, we're going to see repeats of. Uh, so kind of like uh, gold axe. Except, you know, very, someone very good, actually. Death. And there's that first death. Because golden axe is... I don't like golden axe. I'm not going to lie. A hot take. Whoa. <laughs> I think Diggity's in here. I don't know if you should say that. <laughs> like, no, there's no offense to anyone who enjoys it. I'm just not a fan of golden axe. <laughs> Like, I, I, it, it has its absolute oh, place in words. history, though. <laughs> it has its absolute place in history, though, because it is iconic. Dwarven Dynamite does not like the beat em up with a dwarf in it. <laughs> I mean, he's not even the best character, is he? Yeah, it's, it's, see, there's no good. No, yeah, I figured no diggity was still here. Uh, I knew this was coming. <laughs> Don't boo me, I'm right. <laughs> There is a Fezbro off screen, you just can't see him because I'm kicking him, but of course they got behind me and ruined the cycle I had. Did she just throw a grenade? Well, there was multiple <laughs> of them. There was like three of them off the screen. What the heck? They see it to spam and jump dash. Okay, I think we're finally done with the Fez Bros. All right. Now here's Boat Bagwell's older brother who's mad that I beat him up, so he told me to meet him after school by the flagpole. 
props to anyone that does speed run Golden Axe, though. Like, Seriously. It's, it's not an easy game. I cannot get the cycle. To play well, anyways. It's an easy game to play badly. I can do that very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a frame perfect thing to get, and I can never get it. But he's done. All right, so I'm going to pick up these boulders. We're going to toss them off screen here because we are actually moving this. I need to do this perfectly. All right, I got it. And our final boss gauntlet boss, Bowerman, who are off cycle now. Crap, because the other two didn't want to run at me. I'm gonna pray this works out. It did not work the way I wanted to. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do something here. I'm gonna take I a hit. Saying, you're not gonna have enough rockets for their cycles being off like that. Yeah, I had to take an intentional hit there. It's fine though. We are now going to do the exact same thing we did the first time. I just throw boulders at them. Because they're idiots. Oh, yeah. You got them all stacked up now. And that is the boss gauntlet done. So now we come into our final boss. You'll never guess who it is. It's Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> and he throws a tank at you. <laughs> with, with Wolverine claws. <laughs> you got to have the Wolverine claws. <laughs> 90s, bro. 90s. I cannot believe he actually hit me. I cannot believe he actually got that hit off. Yeah, not an extremely difficult fight. It's pretty much just me just waiting for him to attack, move to move slightly, jump and kick. See, extremely easy. You're not wrong. Tuxedo Mask is pretty useless. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Growl. That is GG. You know, game's over. Elephant's coming out. We did it. We saved the animals. Nothing more to this. Plot twist. What's, what's happening? Why is the door closing? What What, what the? What is, hap what is happening here? What is this? There's aliens the entire time. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so this is the actual final boss. It was very annoying. Oh, yeah. Turns out aliens were behind the whole thing. Who would have thought? <laughs> okay, perfect. It actually went up top, finally. This is the strat I was trying to get, but it wouldn't go up here. I have to get it up the top no matter what. Otherwise, I can't do this. Easiest boss in the game. <laughs> that's GG. <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how I felt the same way, Booster. It was like, oh, done the game. Nope, not done the game. <laughs> Apparently, it's aliens. <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> so that is Growl. I love this game. Again, Esther put it onto me. He told me I would enjoy it. I didn't know what I was going into. I spent the entire run just laughing when I first played this. I have not enjoyed a, a game this much, and I have so much fun with the run. Even when things go wrong, I still have a fun time with it because it's just a fun game. It's it's just great, it's and I love manipulating the enemies. Game. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. The, the ridiculous of this game is is hilarious. <laughs> but uh, I'm currently the world record holder for most of the categories. We're trying to see if maybe we can possibly get some more people to check this game out, because I have been wanting more people to know about this wonderful game so much. So if you are actually interested in playing this, trying it out maybe, just wanting to do the run, or just playing it casually, let me know. Hit me up. I'm Dwarven Dynamite. You can find me on Twitch right there. Also on Twitter and Instagram, I, uh, yeah, just all around. Uh, the game has so many categories because there's four characters and two difficulties. So what, there's eight. Eight runs in total. Eight, eight, eight categories to go for with this. Uh, yeah, so you got yeah normal for each one and, and hard, for, hard for each one. And hard is legitimately hard. The enemies get so much tougher. They do more damage and it just, it's, it's rough, but... It's a comp. It's a good. Comp it's a good run, honestly. But yeah. That Someone is. needs to challenge his Jack Hard World record. <laughs> good luck. I do need to redo that with the new strats, though. Actually, yeah, that is me, and I finished pretty early because I think I started early. <laughs> yeah, you actually you just barely went over like the the half hour slot you would have actually. <laughs> nice. A couple a couple minutes over what you would uh. What you would have had. Yeah, it was a rough run on it overall, but 
got one. Actually, I, I didn't think that was too bad of a run. Uh, actually, that, that went pretty, pretty smooth. So I was, I was worried that with such a long run, 30 minutes would be, could squeak it in there if you ended up having to do a reset at any point. <laughs> well, uh, but luckily, that was not the case. Thank you, Esther, for commentating me for me, by the way. Really appreciate it, especially after you just did your run. Not a problem. And coming up next, we have Booster Shane with Rostan Saga 2. Uh, I guess just waiting to let me know when they are ready to go. I will bid you yeah. all adieu. Still got 10, 10 minutes Welcome or so. The ongoing it's time to get set up. That was odd. <laughs> so <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? I was absolutely not expecting that. It's weird when someone else's alerts come up on your stream. <laughs> this scared, actually scared me, I'm not going to lie. Oh, and Booster Shane is ready. All right, so Booster, I will give you a nice countdown from 10. So once again, thank you all so much. Really appreciate to be here. Hope you all enjoyed the run and hope to catch you next time. All right, Booster, on 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one.